my gosh, how cliche can you get? Tears, I scream, a romantic movie. <laughs> Leave me alone. Has Joe left? <laughs> the plane would have departed two hours ago. He's gone. <laughs> you won't find him there, you know? <gasps> That's it. You are coming with me. <laughs> To get more ice cream? We are going to a party. No. Yes. I don't want to come. Yes, you're no, coming. Come. Please don't. Come. No. You're so mean. No. You'll thank me later. You've been crying in that room for two weeks. I'm surprised it isn't flooded. Oh, my heart is broken. I should be allowed to flood the whole city if I want to. Ew. You need a distraction. Let's have some fun. Meet some new boys. Oh, I'm going home. Hey, don't you dare. You want me to tackle you to the floor again or what? Give me your mask. I'm gonna put this on. We're gonna go in there, and you'll forget Joseph ever existed. I can't wait to get drunk. Oh my God, let's go. Yo, Max. Oh, the party's gonna be over before we even get in. Hey, uh, hey, uh, excuse me. What? An apology would be nice. Yeah. How about I save you from queuing with all the peasants here, huh? No, thank you. Uh, she means yes, thank you. Champagne, please. Oh, great. You again. I was here first. And your point is? Well, you're rude. And you are pretty. Oh, uh, well, um, you'll never find out because I'm not taking this mask off for you. <laughs> I didn't ask uh, you to. You must be rich. That's why you think you can just be rude to people. Oh, <laughs> take it easy, pretty eyes. You want a drink? Okay. Hey, you could be a distraction, right? I'm supposed to find one. What? Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Why do I get the feeling that you don't belong here? Hey, I have an invite, okay? It's my sister's invite, but <laughs> it still counts. Yeah, well, this isn't normally your scene, right? What gave it away? Is it my off-the-rack clothes? Mm. Effortless beauty, then. Shouldn't you be getting back to your girlfriends? Something tells me that it'll be more interesting if I stick around. Is that your way of telling me I should start saying things to impress you now? <laughs> Don't worry. You already have. You must think girls just fall all over you all the time. You know what? Why can't you just take a call? Kiss me.
never told me your name. And I kind of like your hair like this. I need to go. What? Come on, don't tell me you're gonna leave me again. I should never have... Wait, don't tell me you've known all this time too. What do you mean too? You knew? Well, I suspected like the first time we saw each other and then as time went by, the more time we spent together, the more convinced I was. And especially after this night. Oh my God. Look, I was trying to look for you after that night, okay? But I couldn't. I can't talk about this right now. I need to get home to my son. Yeah, but you never answered my question. Did you know all this time too? No, of course not. If I knew, I never would have... Would never have what? This is a mistake, okay? A really bad mistake. Anybody here? I'm so happy to see you. Are you okay? What are you doing here? Um, I happen to be in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by and say hi. Hi. Uh, hey. Yeah, right in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Uncle Joseph brought me this cool jigsaw puzzle. We are almost halfway done. Um, that's nice. Can't finish it with us, Mommy. Okay. Oh, look at you guys. Thanks for letting me stay for dinner. Zion wanted you to. He's a great kid. I've done a great job raising him. Can't imagine how hard it's been for you to raise him by yourself. Especially with his health condition. Safi helps out. I'm sorry I wasn't there. Well, you left. I'm here now. What do you want from me? Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Well, it's too late for that. You broke my heart. I thought I was doing the right thing. How could that be the right thing? I promised your dad that I'll take care of you. Getting into a relationship with you when I wasn't even going to be around doesn't seem like taking care of you. I had to go out and make something of myself before I could be anything to anyone, especially you. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I really missed you, Joe. I really missed you too. Joseph coming. You like him, huh? That's fun. He told me how to fold an airplane. Is that what you guys were doing last night when I was making dinner? Hmm. Is this house like? Now what's like? To have a daddy. I'm sorry, I didn't think that I'm was going fine. to end. I'm fine. Okay? Let's go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, that's it. I don't want to lose my bonus for the year. What's wrong with you today? Is it Jake? You know what? I don't understand her. What did you do now? Okay, what, what did she do now? Remember that night from years ago? That girl that I met in this masquerade ball? When you were driving that whole night, just trying to look for her. That, I remember. <laughs> you said you fell in love. That was drunk, babbling Eros. But of course, drunk, babbling Eros never said those words again. Well, yeah, guess what? I found her. What? The girl in the mask? Yeah. Who? 
Jade. But you said you never saw her face. Does she know? Well, now she does. <laughs> well, if, if you blabbered that you were in love with Masked Jade, does that mean you are in love with real Jade? This should be enough to get you through the afternoon at least. You're the best, Jade. <laughs> the baby kept me up all night and I've got a presentation to do in an hour. Good luck. Thanks. Hi. Don't you have to be at work? I'm latte, but it's okay. <laughs> what are you and Zion doing for dinner tonight? Ooh, I wish you just texted. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be spending so much time with Zion. Why not? I don't want him to get too attached. In case... He... I thought we were good after our talk last night. We are. It's just... It's just really complicated at the moment. I'm not pressuring you for anything you're not ready. I just want to be there for you and Zion. I'm engaged, Joe. I know, but is she really the one? Jay, Wait. I'm back, and I'm not going to let you go without a fight. <laughs> no matter what happens between us, I'm not going anywhere this time. Okay. I'm not sure. If you were me, would you tell Zion's father about Zion? Oh, I have so many questions, but the answer is yes. Oh, it's complicated. You should tell him. I've been saying that from the beginning. You know I couldn't, even if I wanted to then. I didn't even know who he was. Now that you know, tell him. Uh. No matter what he deserves to know, and he can help with Zion's medical bills. Mm, I can take care of that myself. Okay, fine. But think of Zion. Doesn't he deserve to know who his father is? You know, I don't even know your name. We are just two strangers who happen to find each other one night. We'll probably never see each other again. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? I mean, come on. It was more than just some fun, right? Come on, let me take you out on a date. I know you're tight. You probably have girls lining up for you. You probably won't remember me tomorrow. Slow down. Please don't follow me. You're not what I need right now, okay? Wait! I can't go through it again. Oh, hey, where have you been? We've been looking for you. Come join us. Let's have a drink. Eros. Joseph. I need you to cover for me for the Henderson meeting. But I haven't prepped anything for it yet. Prep now then. <sighs> sure. By the way, how do you know Jade? I've known her since we were young. She's very special to me. And you don't think that you had to mention it to me the moment I introduced the both of you? What was my place to say? You said special. Special how? I love her. Does she love you? You should ask. 
Kowalski. The meeting is in one hour. Make sure that the deal goes through. You're dismissed. Yep. Why'd you freak out last night? I guess I was in shock or something. But she reacted like it was such a bad thing. Hey, look. I'm really glad to have found you again. This is so messed up. What? Do you think I'm just good enough for a fling? Not anything more? No, that's not it. Then what? That I'm a good paycheck? No, I... I... We have a son. Say something. What's going on? Look, I was wondering if he was mine. I mean, the timing. The timing's perfect. But then, when you said it out loud, it just became real. So, you're panicking now? Honestly, no, but I kind of feel bad because you went through everything on your own. But now you don't have to. Now we can be a family. Just like that. Yeah, why not? You think that we can just become an instant happy family? He has no idea about you. Look, Jade, we have all the time in the world now for him to get to know me. Is this about impressing your father and the board of directors? I cannot believe you'd think that. Well, you got me to be your fake fiancé for that exact reason. Is this because of Joseph? No. Do you love him? No, I, I don't know. But I do know that I don't need this in my life. Look, Jade, it's not just your life, okay? It's Zion's too, and I'm his father. Exactly. What do you mean? You don't think that I can be a good father to Zion? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not going to risk making his life any harder than it already is. And you're not even going to give me a chance to prove myself? Then let me out of our agreement. We should just go our separate ways. Maybe, maybe when Zion's older, we can tell him about you. convince her that I love her. <laughs> well, if all else fails, just get on your knees and grovel. <laughs> you know what? It's a good thing that I'm wearing my least expensive pants right now. <laughs> <sighs> Wish me luck. I really do. Maybe it's not what it looks like. I don't think that they look like one little happy family. Let's go. <sighs> Chloe's coming next week. If you want Chloe to take over, then let her. 
Don't you dare waltz into my house and start talking to my son. It's all about business for him. He just needs us, a picture-perfect family. You don't love him. I kissed her. 